Hello, good day, all my friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. We just assembled this uh, timber truck from Tamiya. So it was a kit version, and now we put uh, sound and light, so ready to run. Let's test the functions. So let's go. First, we will uh, switch on the light. Top, we got the roof light flashing. OK, we will keep it on. And uh, downside light. Oh, sorry. Off and have another mode. Keep flashing. Another flashing. Off. Try another one. Okay, same flashing. I will oh, switch it off. So keep it on. Okay, so turning signal when turning left, that's the light. Turning right, let's see the rear side light. So turning left, turning right, and after switch on the sound system, we can start driving. Sound system, horn. And now, backward, we have backward light. So light and sound is already on. Let's see the driver. This one got three speed. Now I'm putting it at low speed. So this is actually low speed, middle speed, high speed, all running very fast. Now it is only at low speed. So I will show you without running, just I will turn it over with the differential you will see. So this one, it is rear two axle driven, front axle no power, only for steering. Now at low speed, let's see this, how much the turning speed it is. Check around here. That's the low speed. Mood now change middle speed. Now change high speed. Change back middle. Change back to low speed. Okay, so that's all three speed. So this one have differential, no differential lock, rear two axle driver. So this timber truck, so if you have an R wheel, just use this pipe, no have timber now. So you can transfer timber, these trees like this. So also better put some rope on this secure bar. Let's see the effect, driving it. Backward, turn it around. That's how this one playing. If you bring it on the road, it will be much cool. With the, if you also can put some real. The tree branches timber will be more cool for playing it. Yeah, that's the high speed. Okay, so I will show you the details of this one. Mostly this one, it is plastic parts, but we got also some many parts with metal. Let's say the main girder, the chassis under there, this main chassis from here to the front on the cabin, it is metal one so this girder for the upper seat for the timber this and this long one it is metal it is uh, aluminum and this one and this one and this downside plate and this the frame it is alloy 
So aluminum. As as you like this, you see this silver. It is painting. So this is all plastic. Only what I show you just now, it is metal and uh, and aluminum. So even for the back side, uh, this one. Yeah, this. It's also plastic. The the bumper and the front of the cabin, downside bumper, it is all plastic. What is uh, metal? It is the driver shaft. Here the driver, and also inside the axle inside the driver gear, the gears inside it is all metal one. Okay, let's see. From here we can see the turning. This servo it is here. Have the connecting road on uh, on the top. This one that's the connecting road for steering. Okay, so here we can see for steering this connecting road for the two tires turning together. This is the axle without power. This one also a metal one, secured with these boots and uh, to the spring. This metal plate. That's uh, the suspension. Also, they got one small cylinder there, you see. So inside, it is like only maybe spring inside. It's only decoration. Real suspension is this metal plate. Okay, here is the three-speed transmission gearbox. The motor it is there. It is a brushed one. And the outlet here output the power to the CVD drive shaft. This drive, drive shaft going to here, the rear axle. And the, connecting to this one and uh, for changing speed let's see changing speed the servo uh, here this one this is a servo for changing speed so now low speed middle speed high speed middle low okay that's all the yeah looks like the low speed need to set in a little bit the servo is too much tension Servo already moved. Yeah, that's why after assemble, when you're playing your motor, you have to adjust the steering angle with the end points from your radio. Also, the end points for the speed changing gearbox, the servo. So don't get it stuck. Okay, let's see the rear side axle. And here, this axle, it is by this connecting road to rolling with this one. This connecting road also it is plastic. So the suspension, so mainly this one, the mainly suspension, it is function as this cylinder inside is have spring. So not like the forward, it is mainly the metal plate. This one, it is mainly this cylinder with spring inside. Uh, my mistake, this cylinder not, so it is also mainly this metal plate for as suspension. The metal plate is up there. So both rear axles and the front axles, the suspension, the it, it is uh, functioned by the stainless metal plate. So that's all this Tamiya timber truck. So have a look at the rear side. That's the right side. Turn around. So this cabin door cannot be opened. And the battery, I forgot to show you. The battery it is from here. Battery chamber secured with this cover and pin. You can put the battery under there. And the receiver, speaker, it is all inside the cabin. So for opening this cabin, you have to unscrew four screw here. One screw, one, two, and two screw inside after take out, you see. Uh, so four screw take out, this cabin you can remove. So you will see the receiver and the speaker inside all the wires. It is inside the cabin. Okay, thank you. That's all for this uh, uh, timber truck from Tamiya. So uh, we will see each other again with more models. And what you like to see, let me know. I will make it for you. Bye-bye.